energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw. Hello. I hope I didn't cut my okay. soundtrack off. I probably did. Anyway, hello and welcome to Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me tonight we have Kuba. Hello. We have Amy. Hello. And on tonight's podcast, we also have Stuart. Hello. Just when you thought I forgot him. Eh. <laughs> so. Greetings to James Blood, who is joining us in the chat room. We actually have two people who did a no-show on the podcast tonight, so... Three. Nah, to them, you miss out, haha. Ha. Three. So, so, well, sort of three. One of them may be joining us later. Um, one of them's at work. <laughs> one of them's at work, and the other one is probably asleep because it's four o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway, on tonight's show, we have our thoughts on Stargate, SG-1, Atlantis, and Universe. And on... Hmm. Wow, my brain just totally crashed. Again. Sorry. You have a brain? It's been a very long day. Um, and also... What movies we're looking forward to seeing, and what sort of what are sort of things we expect from them? So, um, and maybe, just maybe, we will have the mystery man who I can't remember if I named or not, even though I've been talking for less than two minutes. Um, will be joining us later in the show. You have to him. Excellent. We have a mystery man that may or may not join us. Time zones of pain. So. For certain people. <laughs> James wants to rewatch Robocop. Yeah. Okay, anyway, mo- we'll start off with the movies, just because I, I, I want to mix it up a little bit. With Avengers Gone, and with Star Wars coming up later in the year, they're both guaranteed movies that I know everyone here wants to watch. Uh, no okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, what other movies are you guys looking forward to this year? Tell me, or Jurassic Park, straight up. Uh, Jurassic World. Oh, well, sorry. Same deal. No, it's uh, not. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, right, you go. Yes and no. I'd say it's the same. Because they're still on an island. Yeah. It's not like they've taken as out a whole... T- as long as it has dinosaurs eating people alive, I'm totally okay with it. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's oh, just no, the, the movie itself is called Jurassic World, so... Ten yeah, years, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they're taking over a whole new planet... They can't exactly call it world. Hey, 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 hey. This isn't Planet of the Apes. So, so, so what you're saying is Dream World should be called Dream Park? Yes. <laughs> what about Movie World? Does that mean Movie Park? Yep. yep. Okay. Because <laughs> you Do think I, about it. It doesn't quite Do- sound the same, does it? No, well, but... Well, there's also SeaWorld, but that's no. actually a sea park. That's yeah. the equivalent of SeaWorld in Britain, so... Yeah. For those who are listening overseas... Dreamworld, Movie World, Wet and Wild, and I've forgotten what the other one. Sea World. Sea this, World. What, what's the other one that, that's there? They are this White Water World. White Water World. They're all theme parks in around the Brisbane sort of area. Gold Coast. So, yeah. Ship, the, Gold and Coast. just recently, Wet Coast Wild is new. Yeah. 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 And they're they're really crap. <laughs> they really are. They're not mm. worth it. They're too bloody expensive. Huh? Anyway, moving back to fun. the moving back to the list of movies. Um, <laughs> Tomorrowland looks like it might be interesting. Which one's Tomorrowland again? Tomorrowland's uh, the one where she's, she's got the pin and she jumps between now and some other random place. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not really interested. The, the trailer looks interesting. I did figure... Well, while, I'm, while I'm talking, I guess. Uh, as of Thursday, Mad Max. Yes, Mad yes. Max. Speaking of which, did you hear what happened at the premiere? No. <laughs> yes. Mel Gibson... <laughs> Mel Gibson crashed the premiere. <laughs> wow. That's great. Uh, it, was he that bored? He must have been. So, so they've also got Minions. I'm looking forward to Minions. Minions are fun. Yeah, Minions will be interesting. <laughs> at, at, at work the other day, I was picking Tic Tacs. A little <laughs> lolly thing. Minion Kit Kats? And there's Kit-Kat? Minion Tic Tacs. And I'm just like, what? Oh yeah, yeah. Jody, got, hell. Jody got some of those today. <laughs> They're banana flavored. I'm just like, what? Yeah, yeah no, no, Jody got the some. Hell? <laughs> and she took me, me a photo. And, and, and it's funny because one of the beans in the movie is called Stuart, and he's just, it's like, I am not a bean. 
watched. Because uh. his face is just like, I'm not amused at you two. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, so James said he's opposed to reboots, especially after the 2009 Trek movies. Thank you! I disagree. I actually like the Trek movies as their own thing. Yeah, as their own thing, so... sure, but then the second they brought old Spock into it, no thank you. <laughs> I liked old Spock. The uh, most. It was good. They could have helped. I would have been happy if they did with a completely different captain. I would have been happy if it was just all about Chris Pike. Oh, ow. Just <laughs> the fact that they brought <laughs> Kirk and old Spock back to it. No, thank you. Sorry, my my leg was cramping. I had to move and. I tell you what, I'm not looking forward to. I, I, I really don't want to see Terminator Genesis. I really don't. It's lazy, yeah. life, but I'm gonna see it anyway because why no, not? I'm yeah. probably gonna see it, but I'm probably not gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Here's a, here's a question for you. You know how they have those novelty cup things? Would you <laughs> buy a Terminator head novelty cup? <laughs> probably. Yes. Probably. I've got one of Robocop. <laughs> I, I've got a I've got a Hobbit um from when the first Hobbit movie came out. I've got a, I got a novelty cup. Yeah, I've got a whole shelf full of novelty cups. What else? What other movies are coming? San Andreas. I'm going to miss uh, that. Uh, no, I'm not uh, a necessary disaster film. Let's just leave that alone. Yeah. That is going to probably go down in history as the worst movie the Rockets ever involved in. That's saying worst, a lot. Or worst, uh, no, uh, no, worst, no, 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 no. The worst will forever be Doom. No. <laughs> nah, no. man. The game plan. I think we've so, annoyed him. <laughs> so, Next. Uh, no, San Andreas is sort of like 2012. It's one of those disaster movies, but the premise is a ridiculously massive earthquake goes off and just trashes everything. It's meant to split the world in half, basically. Yeah, it's, it looks... A Scorpion King 2. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. This thing looks like it's going to be a lot worse. A lot worse. Mm. Like it'll it'll make Scorpion King look like the Avengers in comparison. <laughs> it'll make jo it'll make Jaws four look okay. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll make exact, Jaws three. That's exactly what Jurassic Park is. Jurassic World is yeah. just a giant theme park where everything goes to shit. So so then we've got um, what other movies are coming out? We've got Ant Man. I'm looking yes. forward to Ant Man. Ant Man's good, and they're um, putting on Ant Man in Civil War as well. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Then you've got Mr. Holmes. I'm not too keen on Mr. Holmes. Like, there's too much Sherlock stuff. Yeah. Wait, is this that, wait, is this the one with um, Ian McKellen? Yeah. But, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is Ian it's McKellen. good. It's good they're going back to an older character to play Holmes. No, no, no. It's, it's, we're not criticizing that. It's uh, uh, the actor is just saying there's too much. Too much there's Sherlock. Too much yeah. Sherlock. You've got you've got the BBC Sherlock, which was spectacular. <laughs> And, and, then, they turned, um... and then Robert Downey Jr. had a go at the role, and those <laughs> movies, were, those movies were catastrophic. Um, then there's you got the TV show Elementary, which makes me want to smash my head against the table. Agent Watson, what even? Oh, I just I can't stand. I watched half of the first episode of Elementary and almost threw my computer been, across that the been table. That show's been cancelled. So um, and now this one. So sort of, I want more BBC um, Sherlock, to be honest. Mr. Holmes, I'll give it a go, but I'd prefer BBC Sherlock. Even, I reckon Ian McKellen will do it just. And also we have the new Assassin's Creed movie next year. Do I hear like a unanimous woo in the background or something? <laughs> no, no. Dogs. Yeah, I heard a dog. That'd be mine. You're fired. Can't stop it from barking, it's downstairs. Ah, sorry about that. I'm yeah. just choking oh, sure. on some food. Yeah, no great loss. No. So, what movie are we on now? <laughs> um, sorry, there's a... There I is a movie Assassin's based Day. on games. Yeah, that's called Pixels. Pixels! Pixels! Um, Pixels! That, Pixels. that uh, reminds me of an episode of Futurama, and yeah. I'm not fucking touching it. Really? It I'm episode? looking forward to it. No. Adam Sandler hasn't made a good movie in years. Adam oh, Sandler okay. made a good movie? Okay, uh, to be fair, I'm not seeing it because of Adam Sandler. I'm seeing it because creator Pac-Man didn't get his, it's his arm bitten off. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I, I might maybe rent it sometime in plus the next Joe, decade. Plus Joe By rent, you mean torrent, plus... right? <laughs> no. Rent. 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 
So what? Because what... then he doesn't have to live with it forever, knowing that he owns it. No, no, I, I don't have to waste the data downloading it. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so, oh, um. Okay, I'll go and shut up the dog. You don't, you don't have to. I'm just messing with you. Uh, Fantastic Four. No. Ah. Uh... No. Nope. Marvel uh, got such bad reception, what, hated the trailers so much, they're killing the, they've cancelled the series indefinitely. Yeah, no. Yeah, they cancelled they canceled the comic book series. But, but they've cancelled all of those comic book series. Yeah. The whole universe is coming to an no, end. No, 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 they're not rebooting it though. Yeah. It's not coming back, it's dead. Maybe that's just their way of trying to get the rights back. Hmm. Let's I, let's I'll, not make a comic book for any of the IPs of movies that we don't own mm. until they default back to us, and then we'll keep going. I don't know. I I might go and watch it. I'm I'm still a maybe still. I said maybe about Green Lantern, and look what happened. I'll be back in a sec. Yep. So, oh, that's that's all of a yeah, sudden there is no noise floor. To be fair, thing looks better than the original Fantastic Four movie. Yes. Yeah, the, the 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 Fantastic Four movie from the nineties where no, no, the no, no, costume no. is literally glued onto the guy and it looks absolutely catastrophic. No, no, no. That's the, bad. The, the one from the two thousands. Yeah, and the one from the two thousands looks slightly better. But remember, <laughs> like, Thing is meant to be the size of Hulk. I know. Yeah, but made of rock, or slightly shorter. Yeah, slightly shorter, but made of rock. Oh yeah, they're gonna they want to re, um unite all of them, but they cancel they cancelled it before they announced that, so that's why they're not coming back. Yeah. So, but that said, there's only so many stories you can do with characters before you run out of fucking ideas. <laughs> you sure about that? I mean, look at Batman. Oh! Yeah. See, the thing about Batman is he's always got his shark repellent spray ready. <laughs> and, his, and his reboot spray. Oh, um, he's always got re reboot spray. What, what else? Ted 2? Why I, not? I enjoy, Why not? I enjoyed Ted, but yeah, I don't know about Ted 2. It looks funny. Well, let's just say they don't kill it. They don't overdo it. <laughs> no, unless it's they a cast a movie, it's meant to be overdone. Unless they cast Rocky M M M M yeah, as the thing, I will not approve of Fantastic Four. <laughs> um, what else is on my little list of movies that are coming, which I grabbed from the local cinema coming soon list. There's well, Spy, have... but I don't actually know much about Spy. I um, don't either. It's another Melissa McCarthy movie. No, thank you. But it's oh, got oh, Jason no, Statham. Yeah, no, I have seen that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I know which one you're talking about. There. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Run away, run away, far, far let's, away. Let's move on to the animated side of things because it's DBZ two... bitches. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's new Dragon Ball Z coming out. And good news, they are going to be airing it at select cinemas in Australia in English and in Japanese. Japanese. So uh, Jenny's in Newtown, people. So we get something so. dubbed. The question is, do I want to see it dubbed or do I want to see it dubbed? Yeah, see, Dragon Ball Z is one of those weird series that we grew up with in English. But do you want to know the weirdest part? The Japanese isn't that bad. No, not that. <laughs> I want to see the abridged version. Oh, wait, have you not seen any of the abridged? <laughs> the abridged version's really cool. Oh, you... <laughs> Bridget, uh... Yeah. I know. I'm hard to shut up, Ghost Snapper. <laughs> I love um Dragon Ball Z abridged is great. I love it. I love Yu Gi Oh abridged. We came to the sea to play card games on <laughs> motorcycles. Cycles. <laughs> screw the rules. I have green hair. Is it screw the rules? I have money. No, no. The, the toy, the, 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 there's a green hair version. The abridged. Okay. As well. Because it's based off um the the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, season zero, which was the original Japanese um series, and in it they actually gave Kaba green hair. No, yeah. um, is, sure. when Spectre come out? Spe oh, that's is... kind of fallen under the radar. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 another comment by James. We always keep an eye on the comment section, so if you're out there and you're in the comics, I'm looking at you, Jody, and you want to join in the conversation, feel free to type. I've got no, to promote this show to more people because I've yeah. got more than possibly a really captive audience. Yeah. They're just busy with other Spectre cosplay stuff. It's going to be awesome, especially because the As because we got a new Aston. Ah, it's glorious. Back That's on what that I loved about the last one. They bought back the D7. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, speaking but... of animated movies and stuff, sorry to jump back a little bit, but I have some bad news and some good news. Oh? Bad news first. Bad news is the Digimon animated series has been dropped. Why? The, the good news is they're doing <laughs> a series of six movies instead, with the first yeah. one coming out later this year. Yeah, so, so instead of instead of a TV series, they're doing a six-part film series. So we're going to get six different movies. So, yeah, okay, that's, that's odd. It's going to be good. It means we get Digimon for the next six years. I'm not complaining. Yeah, true. Because exactly. let's face it, a series would what, last no more than a year and a half or so. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know if they're doing one a year, though. I don't know the frequency of their release. Oh, yeah. They could do and, it like And a... good news, people. Agent, oh, for Marvel fans, Agent Carter's been confirmed for another season. And so has S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, Shield, yeah. I'm look, Shield I'm looking forward to, still if you're on Carter. I still no. haven't seen Carter, because it's apparently it starts, not on Netflix. It starts strong, but it, it, it whimpers out at the end. Yeah. yeah it, it does sort of... It, it's really weird. It's hard to put Carter into perspective. We talked about it as it was airing, so... Yeah. If you want to hear about that, go back and check our previous episodes. And if you manage to sit through them without falling asleep, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> How do they fall asleep through our episodes? We're too noisy. Yeah, well, we are. <laughs> and well, you're pretty quiet, to be fair. E EJ's done it. Twice. <laughs> what, fall asleep through? Why? Well, <laughs> well, what's he doing now? He's asleep. So he, technically he's sleeping through the podcast. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Shh. Semantics. That's a different matter. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, uh, we, we haven't covered well like, we even briefly mentioned it but Star Wars yes but Star Wars it, well, it, I was getting back to it. It, it it's I'm seeing if, even if it's Boxing Day I'm seeing it in, in Midnight Launch I don't oh, care oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm getting Jedi gear and I'm going to be at the fucking cinemas doing stuff oh of course wait, you would be are, again? Like... Are, are you getting a a, a hiss James, I, I don't yes. know what you mean. Um, okay. Oh, you're not going to be going anywhere near them. Okay, I understand. So, Christmas Day is a well, Friday and... Boxing Day is Saturday. Excellent. Well, we, don't, we don't know if it's Boxing Day, because it says December 18th. I, that's the American date. We don't know if we're getting it earlier or, or after them, so... Well, if it's anything like Avengers, we'll get it before them. No. We won't. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Jar Jar Abrams... <laughs> Jar Jar Biggs. And Jar Jar Biggs. They're killing them did... all! <sighs> Would you stop doing that? <laughs> Damn you and you're ruining my jokes. J um, just, I'm sure you'll love this, James. JJ Abrams has said in a recent interview that he wants to put the bones of Jar Jar visibly on screen <laughs> in one of the episodes. It's not said specifically which one. Oh, sorry, one of the planets. Not said specifically yeah, which planet, but it's suspected to be the snow, either the snow planet or the sand pal planet, based on the way he described it. And that would be fucking hilarious. And just he said he said he was going to stash it in the background, have it as sort of like an Easter egg. And yeah, he has an odd idea of Easter eggs, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> would you like that for an Easter? I I am. Uh, I'm seeing it. Like I, I am still excited for it. And yeah, there's the the prequels. I don't mind them. I mean, I I love the originals. I don't mind the prequels. So, see, I'm not I, emotionally committed to any Star Wars. I don't see the prequels as worse than the originals. I don't see the originals as the greatest movies in the history of movies. Empire I can understand is the greatest history of movies on its own. Mm, no, it's not. It's really not. What's it... better than Empire? Yeah, <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah. Whoa, it's it, it's pretty crap. Um, <laughs> Wait, you realise I'm not. I'm when, also not a Star Wars person. Yeah. When Wait, you what? look at it objectively, a lot of the Star Wars movies aren't as good as people think they are. Oh no, they're shit. <laughs> did you did you see the um, audio of the kid who snuck yeah. a tape recorder into Episode Seven? So, yeah. So sorry, Episode um, Four, the first one, when it first aired. Yeah, that was hilarious. Wars. Yeah, that was good. You hear, you hear the all the <gasps> and the. <laughs> to be fair, like growing up <laughs> and when those came out, like yeah, it was a huge thing when they came out. Uh, 
Yeah. It, like, it sort of changed how everything was. I mean, Star Trek started it. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know Star Wars has its place in movie history. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's just not the... It's like... It's oh, almost no, no. like the Avatar of its time. Avatar as a movie is shit. It's yes. like absolutely catastrophic. Story wise, it's terrible. But Story visually, it's good. It's, That's yeah, how visually, it wins. Visually, Avatar is gorgeous. Yeah. Same, same with like Life of Pi and stuff as well. Empire's the same. I never saw Life the of Pi. The only reason Empire was as popular as it was was because of the I am your father, nothing else. <laughs> I, I wonder how they're going to tie in the Vader helmet. Eh, I think it's too far ahead. Yeah, I think too far ahead. What else? Um, I was like, what else am I really looking forward to? Um, I'm just trying to think what's coming out. Have I missed anything? Was probably there... lots. Probably, <laughs> probably <laughs> quite a few. I only, I only listed the, the semi-relevant movies. <laughs> well, here's a question. You know how the cinema has the novelty things? Yes. What sort of novelty thing would you love to get from different movies? Like, say, Jurassic World. What would you want as the novelty Lil- thing for that? T-Rex dinosaur? skull. Yeah, Lil and Dominus Rex toy. Little Dominus Rex toy? A yeah. dinosaur egg? Yeah. No, no, actually, no, I take that back. I want a mini raptor squad. <laughs> what I want would be a dinosaur egg cup. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Does it have to be cups? Cause, or can it just be anything? Oh, it, could, it could be anything, but because they're more likely to make cups. To, yeah, to do cups and stuff. Claw of Rex, that would... Um, that I would wear his sleeve. That actually would be pretty cool. Like a that whole puppet cool. claw hand that just stick your hand inside and move it around. That would be epic. Yeah. Speaking of claws and the most crazy jump in my brain possible, I watched the new Inspector Gadget this week. Oh. I lasted about five minutes nope. into one episode before. Nope. I had to Wait, there's a new myself. Inspector Gadget? Oh, yes. Yeah. And nope. It's... It's 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 really bad. Like it is all the nope. I okay. like it. On it, we'll put it this way: on a scale of one to ten, in, the original Inspector Gadget was bad, but it was bad in a good way. It was bad because it was it was yeah. bad because it was a funny bad. It was bad because the bad guy wasn't a moron, but the hero was, and the hero's fumbles is what foiled the bad guy. In the new one, both of them are morons, except the um, except Penny. Yeah, except Penny and Brain. now now Claw's got a, a nephew. N- nephew or something, and he's sort of like Penny, but the opposite. And it's evil. just yeah, it's like an evil Penny. He's, it's just he's, like uh. he's not much better though. Oh no, he is he's better than Claw. I I put it this way, Anime Night. I put it on for Elroy and Javara, my two mates that um, come around to watch anime with me every every Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Now we moved it to Wednesday night. Um, and they lasted two minutes before switching the TV off. Oh, jokes, my. jokes on them. Laptops connected to the Blu-ray player. They still had to listen to it. <laughs> well, I've only seen one episode of it so far, which yeah. was, I think, seventh episode. Yeah, I watched the first episode for like five minutes and then wanted to kill myself. I watched the second episode to torture them because I didn't want to watch the first episode again. And still wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, back, back to the novelty side of things. Yeah, back to the novelty side of things. I think a Terminator really cool... Skull. Yeah, Terminator Skull Cup would be really cool. That would be awesome. Or one this... of Arnie. No, no. No, leave no. Arnie out of it. No, no, an Arnie <laughs> straw where the straw cup... No, PG, PG, must keep it PG. I know where you're going with that. Oh, I know. We, we all know exactly where I was going with that. I think, I, I think with Star Wars, it's either one or two things. It's yep. either it's either a little crossguard lightsaber or a little BB-8. A little crossguard lightsaber bottle. The one, the one. Like a drinking bottle, and the straw is the lightsaber blade. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That would be really? awesome. I'd buy like fifty and be like, "It's like I don't care." Has all the money? All the cash. Nani's animated Spidey. Um, hmm, good question. Spidey standard usual. Um, yeah, Spider. That does nineties spot animated Spider-Man counters science fiction. It has aspects of it in there for sure. I Genetic. can't remember which one was the nineties. Yeah. Um, 
Well, so most superhero universes fall into the category of sci-fi. With yeah. a few of them leaning more towards the fantasy. So I would have to go with, yeah. The yeah. only one that real, the one that kind of like trod the border of both would be Thor. Yeah. Cool. All good. Okay. Oh, speaking of Thor, I was watching something funny today. And actually, that'd make a really good cup. Thor's hammer. <laughs> it was a cup. Thor two. Huh? Seriously? Yeah. Okay. So far. Okay. For, I for, hate um, you. All right, for Ragnarok, then we just need an Asgardian beer cup. <laughs> yeah, like a horn, yeah. like a drinking horn. Like a <laughs> drinking horn, or like, or like a goblet, or something. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would um, be cool. For, for um, for anything Iron Man, it has to do something with the suit, though. Yep. Uh, his gauntlet, his hand. Nah. Or he's no. cut out. He's no, no, hand. No, 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 it's like the cup have the cup, um, sort of like the design of the cup have arm have the armor on it. No, no, no. What? Have have Wait, the cup the shape really of the chest one? piece, and have work. the straw as the power cable. Oh, is it? Yeah, that work. Or also, um, with Iron Man, like his hand, but outsplayed, and then in the center where the arc reactor is, the straw goes through there. <laughs> That'd be can, pretty can, cool. Can for can for Ant Man, the sh- the cup shrinks. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Extend as the uh, straws that extend and shrink. Um, the, the closest thing we're going to get to a fourth Iron Man movie, and this is just replying to another comment by James, um, is Civil Captain War. America's Civil War. That's, as far as we know, with the exception of the last Avengers movie or Avengers um, Infinity War. Infinity War. Oh, wow, my brain just is not working. Yeah, with the exception of Infinity War, that's, they're the only two movies that Downey yeah. Jr. is going to be doing. Yeah, he's After like, that, he's out altogether. He's no no more Iron Man. So, yeah. Well, no more of him as Iron Man, anyway. Yeah, no more of him as Iron Man. Yeah. Um, um, I, th- I think a, f- a funny one for Pixels would be something. It has to be something gaming related. So something. Pac Man. Pac Man Cup. Pac Man like Cup. Pac Man Cup. Yeah. Or, or like a ghost or, or something like that. Mad Max has to be a V eight. Yes. Well, I like the engine, yeah. Yeah. Just no no, just a full V eight. I'll just yeah, I'll a, I'll, I'll get the I'll get the twenty dollar cup meal. Here, have an engine. <laughs> like, what the hell am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Drink it and it makes you go fast. Like <laughs> for Ted everyone gets a, te- a perverted teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, for 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 Dragon Ball Z E-rated. Resurrection. No, no, for F- Ted, everyone gets a, no, I can't say that actually. That's why yeah. I said perverted instead of the other word. Yeah. Oh no, I wasn't going to go with a teddy bear if you know what I mean. If you remember the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> for, for Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, everybody gets a slowpoke tail. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a slowbro? Slowbro. Yeah, you could probably get away with a jacket from Mad Max. Yeah. Well, see, what I was thinking is I would love to go into the cinema for Star Wars Episode Seven and them say, by the way, we have a Sith cloak for 150 bucks. I'd be like, <gasps> just take the monies. Lots say, of the monies. It'd have to be a pretty decent uh, robe for 150 bucks. Yeah, it's Star Wars branded. They're going to add a zero just for that reason. Yeah, but even so, you can get replica ones that are way cheaper, but will still look like the movie qualities. Oh yeah, I know. Like I'm looking at getting one for about a hundred bucks, which is a full Anakin costume, made to measure. Yeah, I don't know. Sith cloak is just deep cloth. I'm well aware. I'm just too lazy to make it myself. I'd rather pay. <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather pay Chinese in sweatshops who are probably on like a cent an hour or a cent oh, a week he went there. to make it. Hey, <laughs> to all Chinese viewers, if anyone listened, do- he was joking. Yeah. 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 Sure. So, uh, that, that don't, was, want, don't want was, to start World War Three. That was Stuart impersonating me. It wasn't me. And the views are of the views are Stuart's views, not mine. If you want to complain, please message Save Sci-Fi with the tag Stuart. You're a dick, and put all your <laughs> comments there. I will make sure he gets them. Oh, crack! <laughs> <any fail. laughs> uh, yes. I will. Okay, next topic. next topic, Stargate. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, it's another goddamn Stargate episode. Oh, yeah, it's because it's, it's my pet. I love Stargate. Stargate's awesome. 
Don't diss the game. We go through so much Star Wars and Star Trek, so stop whinging. Pretty much. We've only we've only had one episode for Stargate, and that was um, the tenth year anniversary episode. Or the fan episode? I'm not sure. I've been in a lot of episodes where Gate's been pretty wrong. Yeah. Oh, it gets, but it gets mentioned, but it doesn't. That. Yeah, it gets mentioned, but it doesn't get sort of a focus of a whole segment. Yeah, Stargate Issue One was awesome. Um, yeah, that was the show that I grew up on. It was actually there was two shows that me and my dad used to watch on a regular basis. We never, being a nerd, I never had football. I never had anything like that. We both couldn't. He watched football. I couldn't stand it. I thought it was boring as crap. Um, but Stargate came on, and, and I would be at the other end of the house. My ears would prick up. I'd hear the music and I was a fucking missile. I was on the ground in front of the TV so fast that Dad actually used to play it through the speakers just to test me. (laughs) Just to make sure I'd got out of the room. And normally he would hide in my sister's room, which was like right next to mine. Press play on it. I would go out to see what was on and he'd close and lock my bedroom door so I couldn't get back in to force me to go outside. Oh no, that's cruelty. That's child cruelty. But yeah. but yeah, it was it was still awesome. It was that and yes, Amy, you're right, MacGyver was the other show <laughs> that I used to watch with him all the time. I can still remember watching with him when I was from when I was very, very, very young. Um Yeah, because yeah. I used to watch that too. Stargate See, MacGyver. What what Channel Seven did to Stargate was just wrong. Seven thirty prime time slot. Kick ass ratings across the board. Uh, was there for years and years and then they bumped it back to sort of 8.30 and that was fine and then around season 8 or 9 I think it was season 9 they bumped it back to the 9.30 slot and then for season 10 it was the 10.30 slot and then they started showing Atlantis from season 1 at 10.30 at night and then season 2 was 11.30 at night season 3 was 12.30 at night by the time we got to season five, it was on at one in the morning. Which defeats and, the whole point. And because, yeah, and about four years after it had originally aired in the States, and because of the contract they had, guess where they couldn't release the DVDs? Australia! Yep. We were years behind for a long time. And, um, yeah, but I've got the Blu rays now, so I'm happy. Yeah. And then Universe came along. Yeah. Ugh. Uh... Oh, what's so bad about Universe? Everything. It sort of started a whole new season. Is yeah. Like, it, to me, it didn't feel. Yeah. It didn't feel like Atlantis and SG One. Like it yeah. didn't feel like it. It, it belonged. I, it, it felt like how Cooper feels about start the Star Trek um, reboots. Thank you. Yeah, I I I know what you mean. Like, I, don't, it, it, I don't hate it with a passion, but it just it didn't feel like it was. It they, didn't belong in the Stargate family. They re they reworked a formula that didn't need to be reworked. Yeah. Oh, I get that hundred percent. And yes, it is slow. And yes, it takes it takes a while. But I like Eli. Eli's awesome. Oh no, I well, like Eli. Um, Eli's cool. Yeah. I found with um Universe, it was basically like the last two seasons of Atlantis it was lacking some sort of visual quality yeah well see for me the last two seasons of SG1 should not have been SG1 just like season 7 of Buffy yeah it. the last two seasons of SG1 should have really been Atlantis beginning of Atlantis no the last two seasons of SG1 should have been a totally different series it should have been a third show Okay. SG One should have finished at the end of season eight. They should have con- they could c- continue the story, starting the next year, but instead of SG One, it's now Stargate Command or and something like that. And then you broaden the scale up so it's just not <laughs> focused on one team. They replaced so many characters. They only had three main characters return, with the exception of the guest characters from Off World. The main team characters only had three from the original series out of the original sort of six or seven. Um, so, yeah, and it's just... Yeah. It happens. Ooh, okay. What? This, apparently the sound went off and then it came back. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a tad odd. Um, it was nice yeah. and loud when I checked it. 
Yeah. But see, I would have I would have regeared it as Stargate Command. Decentralized it on one team and had it focus across many teams. You could then tell stories on the ship, focus on the ship crew a bit, on Prometheus's crew a bit. Still tell the same Ori story, but instead of focusing on SG-1, break it up into half a dozen different teams. Sort of do what they did later on Atlantis, where they didn't just have the A team, they had the B team and the C team and the D team. And different stories took place with different teams. Like, um, the all the all female team and Beckett. I can't even think of what that episode was, but it had the, um, it was one of the Michael episodes. I, I, yeah, and... I get what you mean. Yeah. You think yeah. You should, they should have split up more. Split yeah. it up more. Like, exactly. And, yeah, it would have been a lot of characters to keep track of, but... It needed it? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, not that. It just would have... For a new war against the Ori, I just felt that it could have been better. It, it could have that, fought the war better. It had that potential where they had a chance to re-gear SG-1 as a show with the main few... With the main so with Richard Dean Anderson and those guys all bowing out. They had a chance to re-gear the show, but they decided to keep going. And yes, that worked. Um, but at the same time, it sh- they should have just... They shouldn't have done it. It should have been re-geared. It should have been reworked a bit. Maybe the... Um... Fo- focus on three or four different teams, all doing different things. You can have an episode with focusing on SD-1, maybe two or three episodes, and then another episode focusing on another team. I don't, I don't know. It's just... yeah. It was... or, m- or maybe Samantha Carter and all that should have gone higher up in the ranks. Yeah. That they weren't a team anymore, but they're still in charge of the base. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things that had potential to be so much more than it was and it they just didn't carry through it like if they'd done that if they'd re it that way Daniel could have gone to Atlantis and he could have he wouldn't have been a permanent guest on Atlantis like a permanent sort of role have him as a guest spot he comes in like Zelenka every now and again um, or get that was stolen the lo- by a woman that was the logical conclusion to his story arc they get stolen by women <laughs> yeah, and um, no, sorry, I was saying yes to James's SGC would have been good if they kept the original, the current cast. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you could have Stargate Atlantis running concurrently to Stargate Command, and then maybe bring Universe in later, or even instead of Stargate Command, call it Homeworld Command because that's what they geared it towards at the end of season ten anyway. Yeah, I get. So what are you're we thinking. bagging Universe or Atlantis here? What? Are we Neither. bagging universe? Or Neither. Atlantis? Neither. We, we're just sort of spitting on the whole show, really. And this is my baby. This is the show that I spent literally three years working on a mod for, going through episode by episode, sampling and getting audio clips for. Mm, for what game? So, uh, Star Wars Empire at War Force of Corruption. Ooh. Um, it's called... Uh, my account on there is Spiner Breaker. And it's on Mod DB, and it's called Stargate Pegasus Chronicles. Now, I joined on as a translator from German to English because the when I first started, um, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just making it up as I was going, and the mod was in German, and all these Americans were like, "Why aren't you making it in English?" <laughs> so I went through and sampled all the audio and made a conversion for myself, which was English. At which point, I emailed the guys and said, "Look, I've made this English version." Here it is, if you want to test it. And I became the English guy. And I went from there to coding, to level design, to ship design, and eventually started my own mod all on its own, Sci-Fi at War. Okay. Um, and then eventually I sort of... Then ModDB had a full spaz. Well, technically, the Battlestar Galactica guys, NBC, I think it was, sent a cease and desist to ModDB to get all the Battlestar Galactica mods removed. And because my mod had Battlestar Galactica in it, I logged on one morning and it was gone. Three years of work disappeared overnight without warning. It took me almost two months to get a reason out of them. And I'm like, guys, if you'd sent me a message in the first place and said, look, we need to to remove Battlestar Galactica from your mod, I would have gone, okay, it's removed, uploaded a new version without it. Done. And yeah. Did they explain why they didn't... 
let you know? No, the, their reasoning was we got a cease and desist, so we deleted everything. We did a master search for Battlestar Galactica and deleted everything that came up. Well, why did your, so, why was yours tagged BSG anyway? Um, it's, it's, it was Sci-Fi War. It had Stargate, Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Starship Troopers, Halo, Babylon 5, Farscape. Oh, God, what else? It, everything. Uh, yeah, it had, <laughs> it had factions for an entire universe. Only about a dozen or so ships from that universe. Um, but sort of a representative sample of those ships, to the best of my ability. With the ships that I had available. And um, so each faction was a united force. So Rebels and Empire would fight together to represent Star Wars. The okay. Ghoul, the Asgard, the humans would fight together to represent Stargate sort of thing. Even had, I had the Wraith, I had the humans. This was before Universe, so I didn't have Destiny or any of those. Um, so yeah. But yeah so and then after it died I sort of moved on and helped Michael out with Safe Sci-Fi so and that's where it all started yeah so it all, 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 all comes back so so this podcast can literally be linked back to Stargate which is why I will mention Stargate as often as I want to okay. Stargate 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 Okay. And I am not getting paid for every Stargate I say because Stargate is the most Stargatingly awesome Stargate show that ever Stargated. It's like the Meow game in Super Troopers. <laughs> yeah. Let's kill a creeper. <laughs> um, for those who are wondering, Amy is currently playing Minecraft <laughs> because apparently the, the podcast isn't interesting enough. So on that note, we're gearing it up again. Stuart! News time. Uh, <laughs> um, there is no news. Not much. Stuart, it's, you're fired. Just well, of, um, I've got something. Just a small. lot of Suicide Squad stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's the, see. Uh, I've got a small something. Yep. The um, the thing I told you guys about. There's going to be a spin-off of Agents of Shield directed by the guy who did Angel. That's been canned. Oh. Why is that? Oh well. I don't know. We gave. I just don't think they gave the um. They didn't get the part that wasn't good enough for them. Yeah. Like most winning shows, sadly. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. We are currently supporting um for the next couple of days until it runs out on Kickstarter. There is a the sci-fi project. Two hundred news stories by new authors. Um, they're trying to get the money together to make a book from all these new authors and stuff and it's a really ambitious project and if you're out there and if you've got like a buck to spare anything and everything send it their way it's definitely worth it right now they've got two backers and 15 dollars pledged out of, te- out of sorry 15 pounds pledged out of the 10,000 that they want because they want to pay the authors and stuff so but it's a really ambitious project and we beg you please go check it out um, yeah. let's see, news, news. I got one, <laughs> and this is awesome. May 9th officially recognized as Goku Day. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, I'll go into this, because I've got it up. Uh, the ja- so this is a, this is Japan. They have an anim- um, anniversary association, and it's officially recognized May 9th as Goku Day, because the, the numbers 5 and 9 in, is Go and Ku, so Goku. So, not oh. the fifth. So, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, so now there's a public holiday for Dragon Ball Z everywhere. So, <laughs> yes. Technically, it's not a public holiday. It's just a recognized day. It's uh, just a uh, day to spend the entire 24 hours watching, watching, up your watch, watching, watching Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> watching, the, watching the entire day going, ah, man. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, 59 to that night. Ah, with, with, with. Ah, if, I, I figure if every person in Japan tried it to turn Super Saiyan at the same time, it's got to work for somebody. <laughs> or, um, or, or at least someone's going to get constipated. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I think it'd be the other way around. When they yell, ha. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, the TV show Forever oh, ha- has yes. been cancelled, unfortunately. That's oh. a, a very sad face. Like it really rigid. Um, to mention the Jar Jar Binks thing. Fox has ordered Minority Report. The yeah, TV- I saw that. That's 
that's going to be interesting. Interesting, yeah. They've announced the cast for Captain America: Civil War. Yeah, I've got With that. Up. You've got that up. Okay, yeah. go through it. So uh, obviously we've got uh, Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. as, as their respective roles. We've then got um, Scott um, Johansson. She's back as Black Widow. Uh, Sebastian Stan is back as Bucky or the Winter Soldier. We've got that's Falcon. a big that's a big spoiler for everyone who doesn't know what's going on. Oh, for yeah, fuck's. it's too late for a spoiler. It came out three years ago. Yeah. No, the the whole thing with Civil War, that whole deal. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, uh, we've got um Falcon, we've got Vision, Hawkeye, War Machine, Scarlet Witch. It's, now it's effectively that... Avengers two point five yes, without the Hulk, now, without now, Hulk and Thor. Yeah. Now it starts to get interesting. Because now we come across Paul Rudd with Ant-Man in it. Well, um, and Emily Van Kamp as uh, Agent 13. Uh, Frank Grillo as um, Crossbones. And now we have some new people. Mind Freeman. Let that, I'm not done yet. Um, so we have um, William Hurt, who's going to play um, General Thetis Thunderbolt Ross. Yes. Woo! Cause that, and then we've got um, Chadwick Bosman who will be playing Black Panther. Excellent. Oh, they sort of announced he's going to play Black Panther. He, yes, he's actually going to play Black Panther. Yeah. Yes. I thought they announced that ages ago. No, they had rumours going around There's who rumors, could possibly play him. Now. Okay. Um, Daniel Brawl, he was in um, Glorious Bastards and he we, will be playing Baron Helmut Zemo. Who was oh, a bad yeah. guy. Uh, he's he's one of the supervillains that faces off against um, Captain America. Yeah. So, well, I, okay. Minor spoiler alert. This is based on what I've read. I could ruin the entire story, so I guess minor isn't quite the right word. Um, in the the trigger point for the Civil War is something goes wrong with the Avengers being led by Captain America. Yeah, they still. And- they're on a mission and a, and a yeah. boo-boo happens. Yeah, there's a huge amount of collateral damage, like a ridiculous amount of collateral damage. Oh, okay, so they're actually and, bring, using the Avengers for the cause at this time. Yeah, and as a result, um, the government is pressured by the people to bring in rules and regulations to make the heroes accountable. In order to do that, all the heroes have to be registered. Name, date of birth, all that sort of big brothery stuff. Powers and... Yeah, all that. And as a result... Captain America's like, no, if we do that, then that exposes everybody's family and sort of makes us vulnerable. And Tony Stark's like, well, fuck you and your family. You've got to be responsible for your actions. That's good coming from him. Yeah, I know. It's just hilarious coming from him. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, another thing with um, Mar- it's I, I'm not sure if it's from the X-Men comic books, but... I know it started in the X-Men comic books with oh, yeah. the Mutant Registration Act. The mutant it's effectively the same sort of thing, but, but on a different. bigger scale. Yeah. With um with Martin uh, Freeman's casting, uh, it's rumoured that he is going to play uh, Everett K. Ross, who's, who um, is an ally of, of um, Cl- uh, Ulysses Claw, who we saw in um, Age of Ultron. Nice. Played by the amazing anti circus Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Um... The uh, sorry, Thunderball. I heard Thunderball Ross. I can't wait to see him back. Yes, yes. So yeah, um, the same guy who did it in the 2008 um Incredible Hulk movie would be playing, would be reprising his role as it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be yeah. good. I reckon. I still reckon that Edward Norton's the better Hulk. Nah, he's a better. He's also not the better Hulk, but the better Bruce Banner. Uh, good, very good. You saved yourself an airlock. <laughs> by about 17 pixels yeah okay um, anyway um there's a story that came um that's been um that um come out is that uh mr uh, bucky himself has been taking pictures of the behind the scenes of set photos from um civil war oopsie <laughs> so yeah it's, it's not much but it just sort of it it looks like wakanda because it looks very the, the um what it look what how to describe it it looks very um in like a uh sorry very um in a very poverty area yeah like 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 old tin roofs and little wooden huts and stuff exactly 
So they're going from the high tech of um, New York to Tin Roos and that. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Because because Wakanda's an African country, so it's very sort of poor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, are we done with Captain America news? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, to complete the list of shows cancelled by ABC, we have Forever. Yep. Chris Christella. I don't think yeah, that's it's this it. weird comedy that Ed on Fox hates. It's tragic. Yeah. It's horrible. Resurrection and what the taste. Resurrection. Ah, so I I watched the movie Resurrection. It was actually showing over here. Yeah. So it, um, it, what the story oh. is is it um it sort of it um so the main sort of plot I get of, I got of this is that this um there's there's a old woman and a lady. The son somehow after thirty five years of being dead comes back from the dead, and he's like a ten year old. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> uh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, it was and oh, Allegiance is being cancelled. I, I didn't watch it, but I've seen the ad for it. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, okay, this this title I actually found amusing because um, it sort of skipped on something. Let's see if you guys catch it. Sanctuary is Amanda tapping to guest star on <laughs> Sci-Fi Space's Killjoy. Yeah, I love, I love the oh, new wow. Sanctuary instead of Stargate. Yeah. <laughs> I think some shots were fired there. Um, Rosuvel is, is Rosuvel still on? I will find out. Stuart is on it. Yep. He's got to be useful of something. Yeah. Um, we'll Do you want to go to some Constantine news? We'll work it out eventually. We'll work it's out what been cancelled from NBC, but there's a chance it could be revived by someone else. Yeah. Uh, they, is... And the best, they're ex they're hoping for a crossover with Arrow. Yeah, they're wanting to do. They want um. It, they're wanting uh, I believe Netflix or f or uh, or um someone else to pick it up. And Stephen Amell has actually come out and said, "Hey, hey TV networks, um, Netflix and the like, if you pick up the show, I'll guest star." Yeah. <laughs> He said that himself. So, even, Joseph Mo even Joseph Morgan has said it. As, so, as well as William Shatner. So, whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. I know. So, <laughs> There's a big, big, big following behind it. So I, really, really, and I really enjoyed it. Same thing about Firefly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of got the Firefly treatment, which is rough yeah. for anyone. Yeah, but this one has a chance of being picked up. <laughs> Fox. Fox. Well, everyone really wants Netflix because of what Netflix did with Daredevil. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Hugh Jackman has confirmed that Wolverine three is his last oh, reprisal yes. of the Wolverine role. How long and, uh, do you guys think he's been doing it? Um, I first... I did the math the other day. Uh, sorry, it's like uh, the... 15, 16 years. Keep going. No longer. Twenty like odd. Seventeen. Okay. I was, yeah. So it was in the very first X Men, but it was also yeah, the first three X Men films: the two Wolverine, X Men Origins, Wolverine. This third one, he'll be in Days and Days. He made the cameo in First Class, and he's, he's going to be in Apocalypse. Yeah, so I mean, this will it will be nine times the longest. Um, the it's the record for the mo uh, most um, played uh, like the actor who's played the same character the most in any film. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually a really amazing um, job, and he's done a really good job with it as well. Oh yeah, credit where credit was due, he's the Wolverine I want in X Men versus Wolverine. Sorry, yes. X Men versus Avengers. Sorry. Yeah. Only yeah, one I met. You can't have anyone else. Yeah. I got some um, I got some a bit of spoiler news. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Marvel have officially confirmed that Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are not mutants. They're oh, in yeah, humans. They kind of have to. Yeah, and they're, and, they're, and they're not the children of Magneto. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not... They can't. They can't yeah. do that. Yeah. So I mean, they made... In the, um, in, the, um, in the new preview of um, Uncanny Avengers number four, uh, Wanda and um, Pietro um, are shown to be the, pe um, the, sibling, uh, the offspring of Maria and Django Maximoff. Hence why uh. they got last names. So yeah. they, and the reason they got their powers was from, from genetic testing. From genetic testing as a result of the spear, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, isn't the Quicksilver dead? Yes. Nope. Nope. They're not. He's not. He's coming back. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we've got three minutes. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we dumped that in. We got plenty of time. Um, the Muppet Show has <laughs> been given <laughs> a green light, so yes. Kermit is back. 
Here's yeah, a question. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Oh, it's, it, do it. it's stupid. Don't get me wrong, but it's stupid in the best kind of way. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> is the Muppet Show sci-fi? Muppets in space. Enough said. Gonzo is an alien. Yeah, Gonzo's an alien, so. Kermit yeah. is a frog who is in love with a pig. Yes and no. And then there's because remember they're also puppets. Oh yeah. For those who are listening, Dinobots versus Dinosaurs was this week's versus. All of the dinosaurs count, even the mammoth and the tiger, saber to tiger. And I'm still going Dinobots. <laughs> now, I just go Megazord and slice the Dinobots to pieces. It's the Megazord is slow. Yeah, semantics. Oops. Um, the Army Within has an official trailer. Which one's that? Oh, oh, oh! oh wow. What did you find? Some more Star Wars news. Yeah. Oh, God. Please, please. So, um, it was shown, uh, with Vanity Fair when they were doing the photo shoot for May the 4th that, um, I'm gonna get, um, Lupita Nyong'o was doing a CGI character. Oh. We actually, we finally have an image of what the character looks like. Oh, and also, um, something it surfaced looks... up with the whole thing of, um, Gwendolyn not... Christie playing a dark trooper. The... Uh, Captain Phasma. Yeah, um, some guy just put it up, Brienne of Darth. <laughs> um, so the Arrow and Flash spin-off has been given a name. Oh yeah, the name. It is... Legends uh, of Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Oh, yeah. how ta that's really tacky. Yeah. Yeah. A horrible name. Like, so, apparently Hawkgirl and other Legend stars are to appear in the Flash finale. So that's tomorrow or the day after, so... Because DC Studios are too lazy to do it in films. Yeah. Also, on Oz Comic Con news, I, we haven't done a con news in a while. Yeah, baby. For Oz Comic Con in oh, yeah. Melbourne, Joe Flanagan's going, woo! For, for, just, this is just for Alex. He, she calls him The Hair because she is obsessed with his hair on a really creepy level. Like, <laughs> not even joking level creepy. So yeah, so Joe the Hair Flanagan. Did we? Did I oh, know? Yeah, we did tell everyone up for um Sydney and Brisbane that um Rich Dean Edson's coming. Yeah. So is it yeah. happening? Oh yeah. oh oh! Really crazy news! A new Indiana Jones movie has been confirmed. No. Oh uh, yeah, I saw this. No. Uh, uh, who's playing Jones? Uh, League of Legends is to in going to invade Luna Park. Oh yeah, yeah. I have tickets sold out in two days. I'm really upset about that. I'm an avid league player, so... Yeah. So am I, but I'm still going down. Because you can still go down. Yeah. yeah. Stuart, you need to give me some of name at the end of this thing. Yeah. Uh -huh, no. Uh, Torchwood is getting new things. Specifically, yeah, getting... audiobooks. Yeah, so it's getting... Instead of a TV series, it's getting an audiobook series. Yeah. And yes, J and yes, uh, Jack is playing John. Yes. It's gonna hey. be awesome. Jack is playing John. Sorry, John is playing Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we we do we do who you meant. And uh, last but not oh, least, wait, last... I'm sorry, but instead of Jack and Jill, it's Jack and John. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, that actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. Anyway, really quickly, right at the end, for those who helped support Star uh, Yorktown and the conversion, it raised almost a hundred. It raised over 150 percent of its funding target. Thank you so much. You're spectacular. Please. Please show that love to the Star Trek. Oh, sorry, the, 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 the book thing. The book thing. The 200 authors book thing. Um, if you show that sort of love to the to the book thing, it's going to be spectacular. So anyway, we are in the last, whoa, 40 seconds. So now is the chance to say your goodbyes, Amy. Bye, all. See you next week. Uh, Cooper. Bye, everybody. <laughs> That awkward moment when I forget everybody's name. Stuart! Really? Stuart! Bye, everyone. Yeah, so we shall see you next week when we talk about the Arrow Flash finales, which should have happened by then, hopefully. Who knows? Yes. And I'll have a review from a local interstate con or intercity con. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a small con that's down in Wollongong that goes on every year. It's this weekend. Link us so I can share it on Safe Sci-Fi. Anyway, and also with an appearance of the great John Jarrett. Bump to 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 the great John.